Welcome back to The Dales and the beautiful setting of Nidderdale. I'm told our next guests are very good socially and only spit at each other when they want to raise their social status within the group. No, I'm not talking about the good people of Harrogate. I'm talking about llamas, you fools. And they're all owned by Suzanne Benson, who moved to the Dales ten years ago to realise her dreams of becoming a farmer. But why llamas in the Dales? <laughs> exactly. We went to a horse sale and there was a llama there. <laughs> we didn't do any research, we just thought, well, they're a bit different, you know, why not buy a llama? <laughs> And when we did come home with Alama, family and friends were just like, are you crackers? What are you going to do with that then? And we're like, we've no idea really. <laughs> Little did we know it was an opening into something else later on in life. Come on, Ted. That's it. Good lad, Ram. We've got a great place. So we started to research llama trekking and it went from there really. It progressed from there. So three years later, alongside her 14 llamas, Suzanne now employs four staff and welcomes over 2,000 visitors a year who take these fairy friends for a walk. Sounds like an opportunity too good to miss, so I've come to see what this llama lark is all about. Hello. Well, there's a first time for everything. He's over-friendly. You He's must amazing. be Suzanne. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't get through to you because of a horse. Hang on. <laughs> you go on treks around Nidderdale with a llama. We do, yeah. It's just such good fun. You should try it. <laughs> I mean, what do you, they, they carry all your pack. You, they do. you can't ride them, can you? No, you can't ride a llama. No. They'll only carry about 25 kilogram or yeah. about oh, a quarter of the body. Oh, just weight. over my weight. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to go on a trek. Yeah, we can try a trek out. <laughs> just keep the gate shut. Um, Goodbye, Mummy. Go back over there, Morgan, please. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Well, I'll come in sorry. peace. <laughs> it is. It is quite bizarre. Right. We'll get Chester's halter and I'll let you have a go with okay. Chester. <clears throat> Which one is Chester? He's a little brown one right next to you. And then when his nose is going through it, if you, with your other hand, yeah. hold it there, and then he's got, he hasn't got your hand on top of his, on his nose. Okay, yeah. That's it. And then he should put his little nose in. And you should put your little nose in. You should just put your little nose in there. That's got it. it. He always puts his head down then for you to do it up. There you are. Good boy. Look at that. Hey, not bad. <laughs> right, boys. Go down to the shed, get some packs on your backs. Right, sure. <laughs> Backpack on, and I'm ready to go. Just taking my llama for a walk. <laughs> Got to talk to llamas, make them your friends. Yes, anyway, then I finished primary school and I went to junior school. And I met, um, well, Mr. Billington was my teacher there. He was a marvellous chap. Did you have. Oh, you didn't go. Never mind. So we're getting on very well. Yeah. Well, Me and the llama, and you as well. How long have you been doing it? We're in our third year now. You so. must get some kind of odd reaction as well. I suppose the people in these houses have seen them for three years now. But yeah, they're, they're You must meet people on now. the paths and they think, Oh, yeah, we do all over the place. four llamas coming towards me. Especially on the bridleways <laughs> and footpaths and things, people yeah. just, like, stop and, like, what's that? And occasionally we get reactions when we're walking through places and you can hear people saying, it's a camel! <laughs> <laughs> and how far are you planning to go on this walk? Um, today we'll probably do a couple of miles, is that OK? Are you up for that? Yes, that's sort of OK. It's just that I'm also doing this study of pubs in the Dales. So, um... <clears throat> so you fancy trekking to a pub? Well, I'm just feeling I might let you walk on because I can see a little pub coming out there on the right-hand side. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> You'd like to go with Suzanne? Oh, Suzanne. You'd like to go oh, with you. That's it. Don't you fancy a pint? That's it. <laughs> oh. Goodbye. Good that's it. Good luck. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, nice to see you. I don't know. Mum's in the Dales. Now, where's that pub again? Come on, this is a serious scientific survey I'm conducting here. 